Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I'll be reviewing Outlook by Dave Cook. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe and check out CardMagicCourse.com. That's my online course with hundreds of videos, live weekly Zoom sessions, and new footage added monthly and weekly, actually, because I upload all the... Uh, all the Zoom sessions, which are great. So loads of good learning there. Learn from a pro. And if you like this channel, you will love that course. I guarantee it. Check it out. CardMagicCourse.com if you want a free course on the spread call, which is the greatest move in card magic, if you ask me. Go to CardMagicCourse.com forward slash cull. C-U-L-L. -L. It's not that rubbish sort of free course that hasn't got nothing in it. It's solid stuff. And it's quite a long course on that one move. So uh, CardMagicCourse.com forward slash cull. Thanks a lot. That's great. So, um, this is this is an interesting one. If you don't know who Dave Cook is, well, first of all, this um, if you look at this, it says Ken Dine, uh, Dave Cook. Dave Cook is Dave Cook's trick sold through Ken Dine's and um, published by Ken Dine um, through Mental Underground. I think that's what it's called. What it's called, and uh, and it, it um, it's really good to get hold of actually because D Dave. If you don't know who Dave Cook is, Dave Cook is Dave Anik. Spell Alnwick, but, but all the links will be below. Uh, now, Dave Alnick is someone who's who's coming to Magic, similar to how I did. Really, he's, he's coming to Magic as a performer, and he's he's worked loads of shows, and then started uh, releasing stuff. That well, this being his first release, so he has been performing at Edinburgh for a long time. I came across him because I didn't realise he lived in the same town as I lived in, and um, he wasn't really sort of in the magic community that much, other than going to conventions and stuff like that, and he did my show, he performed at my show, and it was great. So this is exciting, and it wasn't what I expected, actually. It, it's, and that's in a, in, not in a good or bad way, it's just in a factual way, because Dave, if you watch his show, is very kind of comedy-based, it's very, and then this is kind of a, I would say, a serious piece. Uh, in all the right ways. This is the. I'll read the effect out to you. All right. So, um, a newspaper clipping containing an unusual horoscope is handed to a spectator. Not only do they find it to be eerily accurate, but there is an un unexpected kicker that's a hundred percent sure fire, involving no slights whatsoever. You carry this with you every single day, easy enough for a beginner, strong enough for a professional, suitable for close-up, etc., etc. And it is. And so, this whole effect is based on you get five of these i think these these pieces of paper and and they're all the same but this, these are you, you carry around and you tell a story about a horoscope we'll go into this in a minute and it's all contained in it self-contained so it is it says that like, wallet size mentalism that's it you have that you can do the routine so that's pretty cool the effect itself is a good one it's um but it's something to be built upon and that's kind of the whole thing. So you read the effect, you go, oh, that's, that's pretty good. And you read how it's done, you go, that's interesting, it's unusual. But then you've got the rest of the stuff. And that is what elevates this into something a bit different. And what elevates it is the rest of the information you get in this book. Now, it's, it, it's not a kind of format I've come across before. It's, the routine is, is introduced very quickly. And then Dave has an essay. And then he comes back to the routine and gives you the sort of meaty, proper kind of story that he would he would um, build around this. But he doesn't just give the story; he gives it at the end. And that's good that he does give you that. It gives you a really good example. But he he also tells you how and why that story works, and that's the really important thing of this essay. So he's got the core notes, which is kind of tells you how to kind of make it and the fact you've got a pdf if you if you if you need any more of these you can kind of get them printed out and he tells you where to get the kind of newspaper printing stuff uh so it looks ge looks genuine but he the, he's got this essay on called the genre of magic and this is where it gets really interesting for me he talks about and if it's, it's a short but this is 20 pages so i'm not going to go into loads of detail but it's 20 pages of you know there's no fluff in here it's condensed it's concise and it's got some real gold in this he links, he talks about how magic is a genre and, and he talks about how genre gets people in the door. You know, they like magic or they want to see a magic show, but what keeps them there and what holds them there is the rest of the stuff. And this is really about what the rest of that stuff is. And it's something that I've grown to 
believe and actually know is so important and something that I've kind of missed a long, uh, for a long time. And he says, there's nothing wrong with just doing tricks. We all do it. And Dave said he's done a lot of that and he does a lot of that. You know, you have entertaining trick after entertaining trick and that's uh, what entertainment is. But he said, if you want to move people, if you want people to feel something and remember something and, and to give them a deep experience, you've got to follow a certain, I don't want to say rules because it's not that, it's not that kind of fixed, but there are certain things you can do to make it more important. And he talks about story. Now, story, to me, again, my mistake, when I've, when I've seen people talk about story, I always think, well, it's just telling a story with a trick, like a storytelling magic trick, but it isn't. Story is the whole thing that goes around it. It's the whole thing that sort of makes it, it as he says, you know, you, if you've got a comedy show that you like, yes, it's funny and that's why you like it, but what really connects you is the characters and the story and that's the characters, that's what happens, of course, that's the kind of the arc and where it, how it develops and all that stuff is what keeps you going back for more and more. It's not just the laughs and that's the same with magic and that's kind of, that's a bit of what he says, but then he kind of goes into why that is. But importantly, he, he gives you the inspiration to go, all right, so this is what you can do. He's, there's one um, paragraph in it which basically gives you the rules. He said, if you do this, think about this, think about this, this will give you that arc. And you've got it, it's there, and it's not that difficult. I think we believe it's difficult. We think we've got to be ultra creative to be able to do this stuff. And I'm really starting to learn now, because I'm writing my own show, that it's just about sitting and doing it and kind of thinking about it. And, and Dave is someone that is really thinking about this, but importantly sharing his thoughts with us. So I was really, pleased and happy with this. It came along at the right time because I'm writing my show at the moment and starting to want to think differently about it. I don't just want it to be a load of a load of tricks. And all these things start to happen. It's almost like a weird fate thing, which I don't really believe in. But, you know, I read this today and went, well, I read it a couple of years ago, but reread it today and went, God, now it's got so much context. And actually, weirdly enough, he's, the story he gives you um, to perform this with, if you want to use that script, remember that script, does all, let's talk about the fact that you can read something one day and it means so much to you and you can read it and you know a couple of years later and it doesn't and actually reading this now is so uh poignant for me because it's something that I, i'm going yeah I, i'll take that i actually took a picture of one of the paragraphs in this and i put it in my evernote with my show file to kind of remind me to think about along this way so it's it's some really good stuff in here you know, the trick itself is good, but as I said, he says it's like, it's not an opener, it's not a closer, it's something when you've built rapport to do when you've got, you're with someone to give them a, a sort of deeper experience. And, you know, for that essay, for that information, and for that trick, you know, the fact that it's, I don't know, 16 quid, it's, it's amazing, it's a no-brainer for me. I think it's really good, and I, I think it's a really... Like he said, he's introduced himself to the magic community and it's a really good introduction and I suggest you check it out. So do check out all of Dave's stuff with the links below and, and do have a look at it. And incidentally, it's got the best example of this stuff. He sort of talks about it and then provides you with this example. He goes, click this link and watch this and this gives you a really good example of what I'm talking about. And I did that and just went, boom, you've absolutely nailed it. Just brilliant. And it's, a, you know, two minutes of viewing and he just completely uh, illustrates what he's saying. So loads of thought gone into this. I think it's great. Check it out. Check the links below. And, um, and of course, after this, when you've done that, come back and check out carbmagiccourse.com and get your free spread cull download course, carbmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. Like and subscribe. Have a great one. Cheers.